What's going on guys, it's Manny King here, and it's been a while since I've made a video. I had some family come down to visit, so I pretty much spent all my time with them, and they left yesterday, and I was going to make a video yesterday, but for some reason the weather has been a little bit weird here. It's been really sunny, and then for like two hours yesterday, it rained really badly, and during that rain, my internet went off, like it just shut down, I don't know what happened, and it's been unstable ever since then. Like right now, I think I don't have internet <laughs> at the moment, so I'm hoping I'm able to upload this video today. If if not, uh, this will probably be uploaded tomorrow on Thursday, but I'm really hoping that it uploads today. But uh, I did have something I wanted to talk about today, but before I get into that, I want to say really quickly, uh, because what I want to talk about today is the pre-order numbers so far in the US for the PS4 and Xbox One, and also some games so far. But uh, since this kind of has uh, something to do with that, I wanted to say really quickly that on Twitter today they announced that because so many people are asking, Call of Duty Ghosts on the MLG Pro Circuit will be featured on Xbox One. So once again, Call of Duty, uh, it's, it will be in the Pro MLG Pro Circuit and the console of choice will be the Xbox. So that's just some interesting news that I thought people might want to know uh, that they are going to stick with Xbox for MLG. Alright, so let's go into the pre-order numbers. So these pre-order numbers, they're only for the United States. I don't know how the pre-order numbers are looking in Canada, Mexico, the UK. These are really just for the United States. And this was the data that was collected up until August 24th. So they don't know for the last four days because today is the 28th. Uh, but these were the num latest numbers or the estimate for the latest numbers because they don't know the exact ones. But they feel like these give a good estimate. Um... I guess these guys might know what they're talking about, but these numbers are pretty interesting. So the PlayStation 4, the console itself, has pretty much sold, I guess, 600,000 uh, pre-orders. So that's a lot of pre-orders just in the United States. And then the Xbox One has 350,000, not too much. Not too many, but I think it's because every time I try to go to GameStop to pre-order the Xbox One, because I've tried before, um, they always say that they don't have any pre-orders available. So I don't know if it's just the the fact that Microsoft isn't giving out that many pre-orders or it's the fact that uh, my store just isn't getting that many. So let's actually go on to the games. This is where I, I thought it was pretty interesting. So for the PlayStation 4, the top 10 pre-orders, it starts with Battlefield 4. That was pretty interesting. Battlefield 4 is leading the category with 246,000 pre-orders, and then it's Call of Duty Ghosts at 240,000. So Battlefield 4 is beating Call of Duty on the PlayStation 4, which I thought was pretty interesting, and then Killzone's number 3, and then there's a whole bunch of other games. I'll probably put this list in the description if you want to check this out, because this video is not too long. It's just a Moab streak, and uh, what also caught my attention on the Xbox One top 10 pre-orders, Call of Duty Ghosts, it is number one by a pretty good margin compared to Battlefield 4, which is in second place for Xbox One, but the thing that caught me by surprise was Titanfall. Uh, it's only number 10. It's at 27,000 pre-orders. Uh, to, to give that some perspective, Knack, which is the PlayStation 4 exclusive that is pretty much a kid-friendly game, is ninth and on the PlayStation 4 top 10, and it's at 40,000. So apparently, according to this list, Knack is outselling Titanfall pre-orders, which just seems odd to me. I don't know. I thought Titanfall would be a lot higher. I don't know if it's because it's not a launch title, so not many people are pre-ordering it. But it feels weird to me that there's only 27,000 or basically 28,000 pre-orders of Titanfall. I thought that would be a lot more. But these numbers, they're pretty interesting. Uh, FIFA Soccer, it's only once on the on the consoles and it's on the PlayStation 4 side which surprises me. I thought FIFA was a lot more popular in the United States but I guess it's really <laughs> just a popular game in the UK. I know for sure Xbox One uh, got a market on that because they're giving that away for free for the UK market so I thought that was pretty interesting but uh, like I said I'll put this list in the description if you want to check it out. These are some pretty interesting numbers but this gameplay is already going to come to an end. I'm probably going to be a lot more active in the next coming days now that uh, I don't think there's going to be anything else to really take away my time but uh, yeah so this is Manny King. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys later. Peace.